we're going to talk about gastric ultrasound and its perioperative use. So why the gastric ultrasound? Because pulmonary aspiration of gastric contents may result in significant morbidity and mortality. Aspiration occurs in every 2,000 to 3,000 elective general anesthetics, counting for half of airway mortality associated with anesthesia. Let's come to some specific indication for gastric ultrasound. One would be when we don't know for, for certain the fasting status of the patient, like in cognitive dysfunction, language barriers, or when the history from the patient is not clear. Other would be known or suspected delayed gastric am emptying in conditions like CKD, diabetes, acute pain, pregnancy, and obesity. The stomach has five distinct sections, out of which the gastric antrum is of particular interest as it is easily identifiable on ultrasound in the epigastric region. The gastric antrum lies posterior and inferior to the medial margin of the left lobe of liver and anterior to pancreas and iota. For adults, we use a low-frequency uh, probe and in pediatric patients with weight less than 40 kg you can use a high frequency probe and the patient position would be the supine or right lateral decubitus position the right lateral decubitus position is preferred because of the gravitational drainage of gastric contents to the antrum which increases the sensitivity of the, of ultrasound to detect small volumes also um, you know, the right later decubitus position may be difficult to achieve in critically ill trauma patients and in pregnant patients. Why we can use a semi recumbent position. Initially, the transducer is placed in a sagittal plane below the ziphy sternum, and the landmarks are from deep to superficial. They are vertebral bodies, long axis of abdominal iota, head or neck of pancreas inferior margin of left lobe of liver and the gastric antrum in short axis. Once the image is obtained, our aim is to quantify the contents of gastric antrum. The antrum may be empty, contain variable volumes of fluid or solids. When the stomach is empty, that it appears small, flat and collapsed in both supine and right lateral decubitus position described as bull's eye appearance. It has low risk of pulmonary aspiration. Gastric secretions and clear fluids such as water or black tea are anechoic or hypoechoic in appearance. And thick fluids such as milk or juice with pulp are more echoic and homogeneous in nature. And the clear fluids with air bubbles can give a starry night appearance. The conception of solids initially gives a frosted glass appearance and after some time the solids appear hyperechoic with a heterogeneous consistency within a distended antrum. Current gastric volume measurement is developed only for assessment of clear fluid in the stomach and not for solid content. One can use the calipers of ultrasound equipment for knowing the cross-sectional area and one can use the given formula for that and the upper limit for this is 1.5 ml per kg. This is a sagittal scan and you can see the empty stomach out here. You can see the bullseye appearance and you can also see the liver and you can see the aorta and the pancreas also. And you can also take the cross-sectional area in this scan and to determine the gastric volume. This is the transverse scan in the same patient. And you can see the vertebral body. You can see the aorta. And you can also see the pancreas on top of the aorta. And then you can also see the gastric antrum. This is the scan in the right little decubitus position and this is the transverse scan. You can see the antrum out there, it's quite distended. The patient had taken some solids few hours back. Pancreas, you can also see. You can see the um, vertebral body and abdominal iota and the branches of the abdominal iota. 
This is a sagittal scan in the same patient and you can see the distended antrum and uh, this patient has a high risk of pulmonary aspiration. Thank you.